In this video I want to show you how to use Firebug, um, which is a free plugin for Firefox, to look in more detail at the designs of your website and, and to try and solve design issues. Now I've got the plugin um, installed in Firefox and I can access it by clicking this little Firebug icon down the bottom. And then what we get is we get a number of tabs that come up here. The two that I usually use are the HTML tab and the CSS tab. If we click this little button there that allows us to inspect elements of our web page so I can go up here and you can see boxes forming around various bits of information so for example if I keep um, if, I, if I click on that box there that selected the home button at the top you can see down here the HTML responsible for that home button and you can see over here the styles in the style sheet that are relevant to that particular button so for example um, what we can do is we can turn off some of the formatting in the style sheet by clicking the little off button and seeing what changes it makes to the web page. In some cases it's not going to make any, in other, other times it will. For example, this line here, text decoration none, is basically saying that in a visited link don't show the underline. And if we disable that, you can see now in the web page the underline is now showing. So by using this firebug we can actually inspect elements of the page and just to show you how powerful this is let's just suppose that we wanted to make some changes to our comment box at the bottom here I can inspect the element and there's the information there in the HTML file that creates that box over here is the CSS now let's suppose I wanted a different background color if I hover the mouse over here, the background here, you can see the background color, that's the one that's being used for the background color of this box. But let me change it to something slightly different. And you can see that in the, the browser at the top, we're actually changing the color. Now this doesn't obviously change the color uh, in the style sheet on your server. This is just changing the color in the uh, web page that's rendered in the browser. So these changes aren't permanent. If you wanted to make them permanent, you could go in and it tells you here where in the style sheet, which if you click that line, it opens up in the CSS tab, and you can see here uh, we've got that particular line with the background that we could edit, and then we can save it if we wanted to. Let's go back to the HTML for a moment, and I'm just going to go down to the and select the send or the submit button, because if we click on that, then we have down here in the HTML the information that creates that submit button on the web page, and over here we have the style sheet information relevant to it. So, for example, comments form submit is floating to the left. And you can disable these things bit by bit to see what effect they have. Again, we can change the border. So we could have a look, see, well, what effect would it have if we had a five pixel border? And there you see up there, it's now changed to a five pixel border. Let's put it back to one and If we change that to dashed, you can now see there's a dashed line around there. It's not so clear, so let's change that dashed line to white. And there you can see now it's more dashed. The color, if you because we're actually clicking on a color, you can see that the text box just to the lower right of the cursor actually shows the color that we're hovering over. So the color Let's change that to black, and now we can't actually see the text as well, so we could change the background here and just play around with it. And you can see we can see what effect visually the changes that we're making using the Firebug have. Remember, these changes aren't saved to your actual website. They are just uh, rendering the image in your browser with the changes so you can see what those changes actually will look like. Let's just take one final example. We can see in this particular theme we've got a box around the content. We can inspect that by clicking on it and then seeing what it is that's actually forming this border around there. And I can see here that in the post section of the style sheet, we've got a border defined, which is one pixel, and it's the color of the line that we're seeing. So that's the line. If we disabled that, you can see we've taken out the line 
around the content. We could alternatively just change the colour and there's the box that's changed its colour. So with Firebug you can easily and quickly inspect elements of your page, find out why things aren't aligned properly, um, look at where you need to change things to change colours of objects on your website um, and generally it's just a really cool add-on for Firefox if you're at all interested in um, web design and web templates.